Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Good afternoon, countrymen and women. And uh, good afternoon, all those who are watching us from outside the borders of Zambia. I want to say this with a very heavy heart. And you forgive me, Zambians. Particularly the praise singers of UPND and those who are in the habit of uh, insulting us when we talk about these uh, issues pertaining to the governance of our country. But as for me, I've chosen to be a politician and I will not stop to offer credible checks and balances. And nobody, and I mean nobody, would deter me from offering these credible checks and balances. Like I've said before, even if you insult me, I'll take that as Vaseline, which I'll just smear on my body and move on. Countrymen and women, what happened to Tayali two days ago is unacceptable. What happened to Tayali two days ago is unacceptable in a democratic state like ours. And I think by and large, Zambians must stand up to use of institutions of governments to fix others. I'll repeat that. Zambians, please stand up to any government, whether you PND, MMD, PF, stand up to the use of governance or government institutions like the police, the courts, etc. to fix others. I have been a victim of police brutality, unnecessary arrest, and above all, being sent to prison for not committing any offense at all. And I've said this and I want to say it again. I will not allow any Zambian to go through this kind of treatment without my voice being added to those who are condemning it. I have experienced it. My wife has experienced it. My daughter has experienced it. And I don't think this thing must continue. President Hagainde Ichidema, my brother, you have let me down. Mr. President, with due respect, you have let me down. I never expected that you, Mr. President, can run a government where a man commits a misdemeanor, a misdemeanor, defamation of the president. You can send police officers to go and surround his house, to go and break the gate to his, to his residence, go and break the lock to his house, arrest him, beat him up, and go and lock him up in the night. My brother, this is not the HH I know. This is a very different person. Is a very different person. I don't think you are the HH I knew before the 2021 general election. Because you and I experienced this kind of treatment. And I remember vividly that when police came to your house, did exactly what they did to Tayari two days ago picked you up and locked you up, you cried and condemned that act 
with the contempt it deserved. You made it very clear that this should not be accepted and this should not be allowed in Zambia. But it appears that uh, when people go to state house, they forget, they become something else. I can't believe that under your leadership, my brother, such a thing must happen. Look, Zambians, let's take a leaf from Kenya, for instance. I was just reading an article from Kenya where when President Ruto became president, he said this country has got a defamation of the president law. But he said nobody should be arrested for criticizing me even when they use abusive language towards me. Nobody should be arrested. Ruto did not wait for the law to be repealed. He just spoke like that. And the police in Kenya thought he was joking. Four or five days ago, one man called Ruto a dog, which is unfortunate, and I don't think I support or subscribe to people, uh, you know, insulting the president. This man called the president a dog. And a police officer went and arrested him and, uh, you know, detained him. Do you know what Ruto did? He has suspended the police officer who went and arrested that Kenyan and directed that that man be released. And this is how proper leadership, consistency in leadership is. But what is happening in this country is disappointing. Can you imagine a president merely gives a decree nobody should be arrested for criticizing me even when they use strong language the police goes ahead and arrest one who does that that policeman is suspended for abrogating presidential directive and the man who insulted president ruto released unconditionally here in zambia president under your watch you allow the police to go and do exactly what they did to you, which you cried. I mean, I, I can't even imagine. I was one of the people that also condemned police for what they did to you. I issued a very strong statement that this should not happen in Zambia. You also complained bitterly. But you are doing the same thing that others did. I expected you to tell the police that you should not do such things. Tayali may not be right. I do not even support using strong language or issuing statements which cannot be, uh, uh, you know, justified as it were. But I don't think anybody must be treated the way Tayali was treated. I don't agree. I may not agree with what Tayari uh, did. And I'm not even saying Tayari is guilty or not guilty. But I'm talking about the principle of you treating Zambians using the police. I call upon President Aga in the to immediately fire the Inspector General of Police. Immediately fire the Inspector General of Police and the Lusaka Police Division Commander. These two people must be fired. And you go further, you even arrest journalists who went to cover it because you knew that you were going to be exposed because you had planned to beat Tayari and torture him. Why should you arrest a journalist and go and lock them up and charge them with a fake offense of misconduct? What misconduct is there for a, a journalist to come and cover the arrest of a Zambian, the arrest of a suspect? You arrest these people, you even lock them up, you even charge them 54, quacha, whatever it is, as admission of guilty. No, 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 no. This country should come to normalcy.
what is wrong under PF cannot be right under UPND. I will repeat that. What was wrong under MMD, what was wrong under PF cannot be right under UPND. We should condemn this as Zambians. We should say no to police brutality. We should not say no to police intimidation. If Tayari committed an offense, just write a call out. Tayari has been summoned by the police more than six times and he reports himself. You know, when I heard that uh, the police have surrounded Tayari's house and they want to arrest him, I thought he had uh, committed treason or probably he had committed aggravated robbery or he had murdered somebody. These are serious circumstances, or serious omissions where at least police can go and surround somebody's house, break the, 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 the locks and, you know, force themselves into the premises. Because these are serious offenses. But defamation of the president, a misdemeanor, you go with a battalion of police officers, force yourself, break the lock, that man is got a family, he's got a wife, and there is a child there. We all know that child, child is got a small child. You go and do such a thing at a Zambian's house, and you call yourself a professional police police service. No, 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 no. This should not be allowed in Zambia. Zambia can we all stand up and tell President Daga in the that this behavior must come to an end? We should not allow it. Why should you, President Daga in the tell the Zambians that under my administration you commit an offense, you are charged, you are released on police bond, but you are keeping people five days? Savoy Mboela was detained for five days. Tembo was detained for seven days. How many people are you going to detain? Kajova must resign on moral grounds or he must be fired. I have gone through this treatment that my heart bleeds to see that this has continued. Under President Hagainde Ichilema, who even made a public statement and the whole world. And when he went to the European Parliament, he again issued this statement Donors, where are you? The European Union, where are you? Americans, where are you? The United, uh, uh, United Kingdom, where are you? You are seeing these things happening. When somebody came to the European uh, uh, Parliament and said freedom has come to Zambia, no man is arrested and detained in police custody, nobody would be arrested for criticizing us, but this is exactly what is happening and you are quiet. International community, you are quiet. Is this because you have been given a visa with a is it because you have been given visa with, with us by this government so that nationals, I mean citizens from your countries are now going to be coming into Zambia free of charge without visas? Is that the compromise that you've been given? Should we take it that way? No, 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 no. Enough is enough. You know that Tayari as a person may not be perfect. Everybody knows that Tayari is the one who went and concocted the story that had forged my son's signature. He, he came as a key witness and I was sent to prison. But I will not, I will not allow him to be treated the way I was treated just because I may have had a problem with Tayari at one time. I don't operate like that. I am a person who believes that bygones should be bygones. But as long as Tayari is a Zambian, like me, like anybody else, he should be treated fairly. Because Tayari does not have any other country apart from Zambia. He may be committing offenses, but that's not the way you treat him. That's not the way you treat him.
And this hypocrisy must come to an end. Where you are saying, no, we are going to repeal this law of defamation of the president. But as long as it is still in force, we are going to enforce it. Hypocrisy must come to an end, my dear brothers. We must this run, run this country with love for one another, respect for the rule of law. Look, Zambia does not, does not uh, like the uh, sentence of uh, sentence of death, sentence to death by hanging or whatever. The law continues on our statute books, but nobody has been killed as a result of a prison sentence to death since I think uh, the early 80s. Nobody has been killed, but the law is on the books. Why is it difficult that as long, even now when the law of defamation is on our books, police should stop using it? No, 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 this should not be allowed. Let me tell the UPND, you are in what is known as a political self-destruction mode. I can assure you. You are in what is known as political self-destruction mode. Zambians are watching you. And I can tell you Zambians are very patient. Zambians are very patient. They are watching you. They are seeing what you are doing. They will speak one day and you will not like them. Garin Kombo, my brother, where are you? You were Minister of, of Home Affairs, my dear brother, Minister of Home Affairs. You and I, Garin Kombo, stood in parliament to condemn these acts in the previous regimes from mmd pf we stood on the floor of the house are you not ashamed gentlemen that your government can be perpetuating the same things that you condemned garin combo you came to to parliament even raised the point of order why should the police go to arrest President Daga in the at night, breaking his house? Why not send a call out to him? <laughs> uh -huh. Now it is you. What are you doing? You are quiet. Madam Nina Ne, Madam Nina Ne, Temu Munove, get your wife, Temu. Chitilo Mubio, if you win that Temu, now you have one draft chile. Power is sweet. Power is sweet. But it must be. It must be uh, exercised in a manner that will bring peace. Power is sweet. But it must be checked. You are not going to be in government in perpetuity. I have said and I want to say it again. You will be very lucky. If it is me who is going to be president after, afterwards, because for me, I'll come and clean up this mess. I would not allow these things to happen. And I want to show the whole world that Zambia can be well uh, governed in terms of the rule of law and respect to one another. Because I don't think, if you're not Pichlemo, what I went through, I would inflict it on another person. They had inflicted pain on me and my family. By concocting a story towards uh, uh, against me, I went to prison, but I don't think I'll allow Tayari to go through what I went through. It should be a lesson to him. But treating him the way you treated him, the way my wife was treated, the way my daughter was treated, the way President Aga Inde Ichilema was treated, should be condemned by all well-meaning Zambians. And you a Kajova, you a Kajova, you a Kajova, you a Stop that with your police officers. Stop it. I don't know what police comes from. I don't know how much they under previous governments have been fired and removed from their positions. 
You know they have a constable, the inspector, the, the, the assistant superintendent. Are you not learning from what has happened to your friends? Should you continue doing the same things? Okay, I'm going to pay and then name footy. What? My uncle got to move to Australia because the the treason or aggravated robbery. You must be ashamed of yourselves. Can you resign, Kajoba? We don't want you to run the police. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. And why are you refusing to give Kayari a medical report? Issue him with a medical report, drive him to the nearest hospital, let that medical report be signed. You cannot continue doing such things in a democracy like Zambia. Take me a call, nation, look at Pluto. He suspends the police officer for arresting somebody who insulted him. You know what that is going to do? People will just be saying, we don't deserve to insult this man. He's just too good. But under this government, over 2,000 people have been arrested since Hagainde Ichinema came into office for the case of defamation of the president. Insonye Wuntu. Insonye Wuntu. You can't continue treating Zambians like this. Then you know a praise singer. Hey, hey, Tayadi, Chief of Winovamu Ikate. Tayadi may have committed an offense, but there's a procedure to be followed. There's a procedure to be followed. You can't go and brutalize him. You can't go and arrest him at night. He's not a fugitive. If he was a fugitive, he's already facing about three, four cases in court. He could have run away. What is the justification to go and break his house and pick him at night? And the man is resident in Lusaka. How many police stations are in Lusaka? You go and take him to Chilanga without even notifying his family as to where, uh, uh, where he was being taken. That is not allowed. Because you wanted to have the time to beat him up and then lock him up so that nobody witnesses what you were doing. One set of police who were involved in the Tayari arrest must be arrested. You can't continue like this. My dear brother, President Hagainde Ichinema, with due respect, my brother, please stop this. Show the people of Zambia. Show the people of Zambia that you are different from other leaders. But what you are doing, you are just saying you are just like any one of them. And there is nothing that has changed. Please, we the advise our president. You were my lawyer. We were condemning this. You are the special advisor to the president for legal affairs. Please, my child. Maybe in Kobe HH, Ukwera Tower. But taking action, if he's not involved in this, let him take action against the police. Then the Zambians will respect him. To you, my dear brother Tayari, I can also tell you that Tayari, please simmer down a bit. Yes, criticize, but don't use strong language. Because, you know, you are playing in their hands. Now, Monata, I want to be brutal. And I am changing the world. Why not you? 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 But you don't deserve to be treated the way you were treated. Never, 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 never be no. You don't deserve it. And no Zambians deserve it. This country must change. I have been saying these things. That what was wrong in PF cannot be right under UPND. Because we've got so many issues to deal with in the country. Right now I want to have a focus at rise. The Minister of, the Minister of uh, Agriculture came and told us, no, tomorrow, Thursday, people will receive, start receiving fertilizer, even giving us false figures. We have distributed 65% fertilizer. I am here in Wansha. 
I drive round. Tapali abantu abale poka fe drive. Elo abantu bale ba pay five bucks. Cooperative mu abana ngat hundred and eighty people. Bara kana mama meda. That is wasted of public resources. Umuntu kama mama pay la meda fe drive ya meda fish akalima. Mwao na ula fishi. Mwao na ula. Program here at Ampira said we know under MMD, under PF. Even the left side of the Kapoa, among cooperatives, they are new. Increase the number of beneficiaries. PF increased from 500 to 1,000 to 1 million. Now, you know, 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 no, 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 no. Stop this. We know that we don't have the money, but you keep giving tax concessions. Reverse those tax concess concessions that you have given to the mining uh, uh, companies. Reverse mineral royalty calculation to what you found when you took over. And that money, say, take it to visit. You are giving away this money to mining uh, uh, companies who are very rich, and yet your people cannot get fertilizer. The outcry that we have on, on FISIP shows us that uh, more people want fertilizer. But we are giving tax concessions. In Dalama, giving away. Instead, Mugule Shire in Dalama, Mutuale to FISIP, Mununde Prabant. Recently, you have again uh, waived visas on European countries, America. And yet Zambians have to pay visa fees and have to apply for visas to go to this country. Some of these things must be uh, reciprocated. If the Americans, the, uh, the UK and the European countries can also do away with visas and visa fees for the Zambians, then it is okay. But why should we allow them to come in our country free of charge at any time they feel without a visa and yet they cannot allow the Zambians to go to their countries freely? Why should we do that? Why do we have a soft spot for Europe and America? What is going on? What's going on? Because I don't understand. These people, when they come into this country, they pay $25 as visa fees. And we raise a lot of money on visa uh, fees. But you've done away with it. You are giving away money, and yet you are complaining that we don't have the money. Stop saying we have no money, you have the money. If you can say we have doing away with visa fees for America, we are doing away with visa fees for European countries, we are giving away the $25 per each person to pay. They should come in free. Then you keep on telling us there is no money. You can't even give your people fertilizer. And yet, you are giving these concessions to the Europeans. Stop it. Why you pay me now, Papa? In an angumun to condemn never go see. I'm only advising you. Elo muntu kweba Ule kusta advise ni shina kutumwa Because for me It's not about politics It's about the best For the Zambians It's what benefits The Zambian people That is what makes me to be in politics That is what makes me Speak the way I'm speaking Hii isu mwuri yama Visa fees to go away For Europe and uh, America Please stop it Reverse that decision. Unless Nave Nave the Atama Zambians now, back like America, back like England, back like Europe, without visas, then it is okay. But why should we allow them to come in free? If a triam to be put up What kind of thinking is this? But Jack Mimbu, that's your area, Minister of Home Affairs. No, 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 don't do it. It is a half so. For a Zambian to get a visa to go to America, it is a hassle for a Zambian to get a visa to go to UK. It is a hassle for a Zambian to get a visa to go to Europe. Why do you want to make it easy for them? When I imagine I have Zambia, I say I'm free. Afuma, 
Il m'a fini à donner un pied à chaque coup de pied là. Il ne peut pas payer rien. Nous l'avons fait free. Nous sommes en Zambie à Open. Nous sommes en train de nous faire un peu de temps. Nous sommes en train de nous faire un peu de temps. Nous sommes en train de nous faire un peu de temps. Nous sommes en train de nous faire un peu de temps. Nous sommes en train de nous faire un peu de temps. Nous sommes en train de nous faire un peu de temps. Uwe mtuwe wali vile na iwe wali la Yon, ndabaya nishikilefe nga nalia Yelofi mwana chita na imwe shua Wakala mbaba ndiba eche eche My big brother shua Under your watch You can allow this thing I can't believe it I can't believe it Mwalale kabanti mbaba leke ukuvota Tikanshi ukuvota kuipuisha Fenchita Yesterday I was watching a video. I think I have it here. I was watching a video. Hmm? I think I have it here. Let me show it. To the quarter queen son the morning. In son in room two. I was watching a video. Somebody sent me this video. And I even forgot about it. Let me show you the video. What do you say to you, Zambia? Get a piece of paper? I was watching a video, somebody sent me a video yesterday where President H.H. was saying this campaign is for you farmers here, here. Hmm? Let's listen to this. You're hearing me. You're hearing us. Farmers. This is your campaign so that you can buy farming inputs at a lower cost. Instead of the 600, 700 quarter per bag, this is your campaign so that you can get fertilizer at a price of 250 quarter, the 50 kg bag. The three quarter in son, but if you do it, it's done. You can have a power and quarter and two and two and two and two. Fertilize the labor. Iyo mala ile 250 in 1,100. And you think this is normal? Mwele sawesu, mwele wa ikala kumumu. Mwele sawesu. Tu wafu enya ma politics, yes. Yale kwa mumu. Abantu wa tampe. Ugu chitefi wa lela ya abantu. Bantu. Awe. Chachilamu. Chachila mo, chachila mo. Funye ni tayari leloni ne giving police bond. That case is a misdemeanor. It is bailable. It is also bondable at the police. There is no justification in keeping tayari numa seros. Ndari pangomla and we defend the president, take him to court. And let me say this to the attorney general. You are the first attorney general who has started involving yourselves in politics and bringing yourselves in the firing range, yourself in the firing range. My dear brother, what you did the other day to go on TV, start talking, explaining the defamation of the president case and also the Cyber Security Act is not your job. You are not a politician. Attorney General, you are a legal advisor to the President and the government. End of story. You are a member of a, a cabinet, ex-official member of cabinet. You don't issue statements. You can't issue a statement. If there is anything to say concerning the legal aspect, it should be the Minister of Justice or the Chief Government Spokesperson. Not the Attorney General to go. You know, and you know, I don't know what I'm saying. I no defamation of the President. I don't know what i defamation. Two hours later, I'm going to tell you about police. It tells you that it was a planned thing. Stay out of politics, Attorney General. It is not your role. Let the politicians do their job, police holders. You are a legal advisor. Stay out of politics. Who is advising the president? 
to allow the attorney general to go on TV, start addressing the country on these issues. That statement should have come from the Minister of Justice or the Chief Government Spokesperson, not the Attorney General. Banana Mpapata advised the President properly. You are in a self-political destructive mode. And I'll end there. You are in a self-political destructive mode. By the time you realize, you'll be out of government. God bless our public. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.